everyone, it's Misty from The Jolly Fit Up. Welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm using this stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Banner Blessings. If you caught my Saturday for Soldiers video, you saw me use the Thanks stamp in that video. And today I wanted to send, or excuse me, I want to send a card to a friend who's having a rough time. She's had a lot of stress in her life. So I'm going to um, send her a card and I want to use this sentiment that says friend. And then it says, a friend loves at all times. So I thought that that might brighten her day. So I'm challenging myself again to use items that I have on my desk. And I had some larger pieces. This is Pool Party um, from the Designer Series Paper Stack. I have Wisteria Wonder and then Calypso Coral. I was using these, if you remember, in those monogram cards. Yes, it's been that long since I've cleaned off my desk. But... I've had other things to do. Um, I had my niece here. I've been trying to spend some time with my husband on my last couple of days of vacation because his work schedule is about to go crazy insane. So I figured the mess will wait. So I have enough room to craft. <laughs> and that's all that really matters. So let's get started. I have my stamp already mounted and I'm gonna be using basic gray as my card base today. I cut this at four and a quarter and scored it at five and a half to make a standard size, um, standard size A2 size card. So let me go ahead and fold this in half. I will say that I don't know where my bone folder is though. Here it is. I think it couldn't be far because I scored this. <laughs> So I do you have an inside panel. This measures um, Whisper White, four by five and a quarter. Um, I wanna write her a message. I have all these little doodads because I need a new trimmer blade and they're not here yet. So it's really horrible when your blade goes dull. It just chews up the paper, which is absolutely no fun. Okay, that's the inside. So what I thought I'd do is this is cut at two inches wide, one and a half inches wide, and then one inch wide. And I thought that I would, instead of banner the ends, kind of angle them. So I'm gonna line them up, kind of how I think they'll go. And then I'm gonna just angle up by following those What are they called? Polka dots. <laughs> what are those things called right there? Polka dots. And I'm sure I'll have to trim these down a little bit. So we'll start with the Calypso Coral. My friend loves polka dots. That's one of the reasons why. Let's see how far we're gonna have to go. I wanna put out there. So let me mark it. That way I know where to put my snail. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, it's Sunday night here. And the sun finally came out today. What a blessing because it's been it's been very rainy, which again I'm not gonna complain about, but after a while you start to miss the sun. <laughs> So remind me I said that when it's, you know, July and it's 300 degrees in Texas because it can get very hot here for sure. So again, I'm just kind of cutting this so I can mark where my snail needs to go. This is actually going to be a really fast and easy card today, which is completely... <laughs> <laughs> completely crazy because they have been kind of long not on purpose of course but it's just kind of how it's worked out I don't like what am I doing I don't like that Oh no, it's stuck. <laughs> Maybe this will go in the middle. And then we'll put, 
What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? This is what I get for talking and trying to craft at the same time. Yeah, I don't like that. Not too bad. Not a whole lot of damage done. Jeez, what did I do? What? Did, what? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh! What was I doing? What was I thinking? I don't like that at all. I don't think there's any way. Yep, yeah, nope. Ah, oh, dude. All right. Okay, it's time to pause and start all over, right? <laughs> Man. I'm not wasting this card base. I'm not going to do it. So, why don't I... for a quick and simple card misty. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, let's just do that. You know what? Really? Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. And my snail is still in the box. I haven't even emptied my haul box, if you can believe that. It's just been crazy busy. I've had stuff to do. I wanted this to be a quick and easy video. It's not turning out that way, and I don't like it. Excuse me why I, why I pout a little bit. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. So let me cut this off. I probably should have just trimmed it with my trimmer, but again, my blade is so raggedy. Got a raggedy blade. But you know what, and sometimes that happens. You think you're prepared. Like I thought I had plenty of snow. I didn't. I thought I ordered my blades in time. I didn't. Well, I guess I think I explained what happened. I was cutting and I accidentally cut. It caught on the wire. So I actually have only had that blade on for about two weeks. It should have lasted, but that's my bad. I normally, like I said, normally, I think I just cut a hole in the, did I just cut a hole? Oh, I didn't, I thought I did. Good thing this is for a friend, man, who doesn't mind my crafting makes mistakes. Okay, so. Not too shabby. Okay, so you can't see it though because it's, you know, bright purple. Make 
more sense to put it on this side. This is what happens when I don't use a sketch. I'm just like, oh, let's just wing this. <sighs> One of these days I will learn my lesson. Does it still need a third? Does it still need that wisteria wonder? Mind me, I'm just indecisive Misty today. I'm trying to decide. What if we did something like that? You know what? Let's just go with it. And I'm using that as if it has anything in it. I feel like this is like a one take video. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you can't stop. You can't edit. You just have to go. Just go with it. It'll be perfect. Well, actually it won't be perfect because it's one of my cards, but it will be nice. It will be nice, right? It'll be pretty, it'll be pretty. I haven't even stamped yet. This could really be. <laughs> a long video if I try to stamp and it goes all crazy. Let's just hope it doesn't. There, that that's pretty, right? Just tell me it's pretty. Tell me I did a good job. <laughs> tell me it's pretty and I did a good job, please. It's like you just can't handle it. Okay, so I'm going to, this is Pool Party. Did I say that? Clips of Coral, Pool Party, and Wisteria Wonder. I think I'm going to color in Pool Party. Ha ha! Look at that. First try. And Clips of Coral. Ha ha! First try. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stamp using Stays on Ink because these are watercolor markers. Or not watercolor markers, but they're water-based markers. And I don't want them to smear. So. Oh, I do hate the smell of Stays on in the morning. Actually, it's not morning. It's Sunday afternoon, but whatever. My husband went bowling. He bowls in a league. And then he goes on Sunday nights. And... So he goes bowling and I come in my craft room and I get my crafting on. Big head in the way, probably, apologize. Not bad. I'm gonna clean this immediately. You do not wanna use stays on cleaner on your clear stamps. It can break down the plastic. So, Regular old stamp and mist will do. It will stain your stamps, but you know what? It's okay because as long as you clean them, you won't have any ink transfer. They'll just be dark. It's kind of funny when I see people complain, oh, my stamps are dirty. They're so stained. It's like, well, that's what ink does. That's what it does to your fingers and especially the red ink. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you get red ink on you and you are in for it. Okay, so I'm going to color the letters with the Clipso, excuse me, the Clipso Coral, and then I'm going to color the banner with the pool party. 
And then if we don't like it, we will re-stamp it. I always say we, but it's just me. Just me here by myself, talking to myself, talking at a camera. It's all right. It's okay. I'm in love with the stamp set. And they have a new photopolymer stamp set out that I am dying to get, but I'm not ordering again until May because that will be the pre-order time for demonstrators for the new annual catalog. It's gonna come out. So I'm trying to save my money for that. But there's still like four or five stamp sets I wanna get from this occasions catalog too. So it's hard, the struggle is real. The next month is my birthday month. So my husband um, doesn't like to just go out and buy me stuff. He always wants a list. So he's getting one. <laughs> the problem is if I give him a Stampin' Up! list, then I know what he bought. <laughs> because I can see it. Because he'll buy from my store. And then it's like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I can just buy it on my own. And then that just kind of ruins it. So we'll see. Okay, Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Give it just a little bit of dimension. And one in the middle to grow on. Every single one of my buckets on my desk are full, so I'm just gonna peel these off. Peel these off and I can put them in the trash can that I keep beside me. So, oh, I really like that. That's really cute. So I'm gonna put that right about there, I think. I really like that. Okay, I think it needs a heart. I think, I think, I think it needs a heart. I think we need to bring in some more Wisteria Wonder back into this. So let's use the little heart punch from the Itty Bitty, Itty Bitty Accents Punch Pack. And I was able to do this the other day. I don't guess I'm gonna be able to do it with this paper. So let's see. Let's get the most dotage going on right here. Right here. You guys watching basketball? I don't watch basketball. I am not a basketball person. Uh, football, college, I can tolerate. Baseball, love it. Soccer, no, I'm not soccer. Hockey, love it. Basketball, nope. I think it's because I just, it's just so long. Like, it's repetitive, and that's why I don't like NASCAR either. So if you're a NASCAR fan, I apologize. This dimensional is too big. So I'm going to put it in half. I It's just, oh, I don't know. It's just not my sport. Baseball is my sport. And I know baseball is repetitive too, but I don't know. Don't hate me because I don't like basketball. Cotton, don't hate me. All right, guys. A little bumpy, as all my cards are, I think. But I still think it turned out cute. And what I think, do you think it needs some glossy accent? Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I should glossy accent the heart or glossy accent the banner? Glossy accent something? I don't know. I feel like it needs something to break it up over here, but I kind of like it. I think I like it. I think it's pretty. You know what? Let's round the corners. I haven't done that in forever. No. Nah. Nah. Nip. I think that's good. I think I'm gonna call this good. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I feel like I like it, and I think she'll enjoy it. I'm gonna write my write my note and get it in the mail. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those of you who comment on every video. I really appreciate it. If you give them a thumbs up, I really appreciate that too. Welcome to new subscribers. Um, this is kind of what you get. <laughs> I show you my mistakes um, just to 
to let you know that you can always bounce back from them. Sometimes you have to start all over and that's okay. Not every card is gonna be perfect and not every crafter is gonna be perfect and that's okay. That's what happens. Crafting in real life. I think I need to trademark that. Who knows? So um, links to all the supplies I used will be in the description box below because I can actually link to the stamp set, hot dog. All my social media are also in the description box. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and the Facebook as the Jolly Fed Elf. Um, yeah, don't forget if you place an order with me by March 31st, 2015, you can win $25 worth of product. Celebration is ending on the 31st. So um, with every $50 you spend, you earn free product from Stamping Up and that's going away at the end of the month. The occasion mini catalog is not, I was mistaken. I don't know why I thought it ended in March too, but it doesn't. So you got a couple more months to purchase from that. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.